Welcome back to WTL 11 Your Day. Toledo has some of the best doctors in the country and some of the newest technologies available to treat patients. Dr. Mohamed Umbali from UTMC joins us with a new non-surgical treatment for patients with severe emphysema. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. First of all, what exactly is emphysema? Is it the same as COPD? Um, COPD is a, a chronic lung disease that's usually because of uh, smoking. It happens because of smoking. It's um, it has two subtypes. It's emphysema is part of COPD. It's mm -hmm. uh, and there is the chronic bronchitis. The um, emphysema people are usually thin and they have this um, chest congestion and 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 wheezing and more short of breath. Mm -hmm. The other forms like bronchitis, they mostly have a cough and sputum production. Gotcha. So how is emphysema usually treated then? Um, usually emphysema is a, a spectrum. Um, it's, a, it's a progressive disease that we usually give. Um, every patient is usually on a rescue inhaler. Um, and then as the disease progresses, we um, have three other inhalers that we can use to treat them. Um, Eventually, uh, the disease become bad enough that they will uh, be in all three treatments, three inhalers. Mm. Um, there are other forms that we can use other than inhalers. These are pill forms. Um, and the last and very important way of, uh, that helps the patients would be uh, pulmonary rehab. It's a physical therapy program for COPD, basically. So uh, it seems like intensive, and um, you have another option at UTMC. It's called the Zephyr Valve Implant Procedure. Tell me what this is and how it differs from other treatments. Sure. The, uh, the, uh, historically, if you uh, have been on all uh, treatments for emphysema, you, um, your, the only options before 2018 were to either go for what we call surgical lung volume reduction or lung transplant. Both are very invasive and mm -hmm. surgical procedures. The, um, this new technology that was approved by FDA in 2018 is um, basically the Zephyr valve. These, these valves, uh, what they do is we implant these valves um, using a bronchoscope. Um, the, it's, it's a very simple procedure. We do it while the patient uh, is sedated, either conscious sedation or general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Takes about only 30 minutes. Uh, we implant these valves in the bronchial tubes, leading to the most damaged part of the lung. And by doing so, I think it's a very brilliant idea that air will be um, diverted from the most damaged part, and eventually air will come out, but nothing will go in. And that, that damaged part will eventually get um, get reduced or collapsed. We're sort of seeing that in this animation here with the green arrows versus the red ones. So it get, kind of gives us a good idea of exactly how that works. Um, that, that part that we collapsed, will, will the, the, the other part of the lung will have enough space to expand and the patient will start mm -hmm. feeling better and take off some pressure on his diaphragm. Exactly what kind of improvements will a, a, a patient expect after having this done? So this procedure, as I explained, the procedure itself is very uh, simple. The, the key is to choose the patient wisely because not every patient would benefit from it. Mm -hmm. An improvement that if we choose our patients wisely, the um, patient will have uh, improvement in their lung function test. The average improvement is about 15%. Most of the patients were able to uh, breathe easier. They're able to walk longer. Um, they are um, able to do what they love to do, which they're very limited mm -hmm. at baseline. Um, uh, some of them were able to come off of oxygen. Some of them are on some other medications other than inhalers, which we can stop using if they feel better. So they could, you know, maybe be able to spend more time with their families or get some more exercise like or, yeah, those things. Just, usually, yeah. They're, they're very limited. They just want to go out and, and, and play with their grandkids yeah. or with their dogs or which which our goal is to try and help them achieve their goals and improve their quality of lives. So you guys have a, um, a webinar coming up for folks who are interested. They might be a candidate. Uh, how can people participate that in that and learn more? So there is a link there, they can just log in and it's at 6.30 and I'll be there to uh, give a brief talk and, and answer any questions for any interested patients. Coming up on Wednesday, November 17th at 6.30. Um, if you're interested, go ahead, jot down that uh, web address or the phone number there. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning and thank explaining this a little bit. Thank yep. you very much. Take care. Mm -hmm.